about this video because I will be testing out CoverGirl's newest collection. They sent me this box and yes, this box is literally as heavy as it looks and this includes all of their products from their newest full spectrum line. So what makes this box super duper special is that the products inside of here are specifically designed to address the skin and color needs of multicultural women. With smart science, full spectrum brings out your truest tones. Through an extensive selection of shades packed with super rich pigments that pop and bold and hydrating shades that stands out, there's no more downplaying. It's the full spectrum of the full you. So this package was literally just delivered to me, so I have not gotten a chance to go through any of the foundation shades to match my truest tone. So just picking up these foundations, I love the packaging of them. They're made out of an acrylic glass type of material. They look really expensive. Like I would have never guessed that this was CoverGirl. I do notice that they have a very wide range of complexions from the lightest of light and I don't see the darkest shade yet. Okay, I do see a dark shade. Okay. There are darker foundations than this, but I think for them to actually introduce this to the CoverGirl line is a good look. I was also sent a bunch of powder foundations. They do have a wide selection of colors though. I'm very impressed with that so far. If anything, I think that I'll be using the powder foundation to set underneath my eyes. I don't really think that I'm gonna set my entire face with it. This product is supposed to be completely matte. The name of their foundation is called Matte Ambition. Um, and I do have very oily skin. Okay, so now you are super up close with me. I already did my eyebrows. Now I'm just going to swatch a couple of these shades on my cheeks. So from what it looks like, I see five that look very similar that could be my complexion. I'm just gonna swatch all five of these and see which one fits better. I do have a yellow undertone. Hopefully one of these has a yellow undertone. Looks like this one is more golden and it's called deep gold and that's so funny. Let's start off with the first one which is deep cool two. This looks like it may be my color. Um, it does seem like the foundation is extremely lightweight but I don't know if it can be um, layered. It does seem like this could blend into my complexion. Um, especially because it's so lightweight, I feel like it'll go on like a lotion instead of a foundation. This is Deep Golden. I feel like this one is a little too yellow on me. The third one is Deep Neutral. This one is a little bit yellowish. Or I don't know. What do you guys think? They all look the same on this camera, which is very weird. But um, in person... The closest to my complexion is this first one. The other two look very, very golden and they look kind of like, I don't know, like I know I would look like either a pumpkin or some type of vegetable if I was to mix this, um, if I were to use one of these two. So the next one that I'm gonna grab is Deep Cool One. Hmm. No, this is a little orange too. Not really working out. <laughs> so we're gonna go on to the last one, which is Deep Neutral 2. This one looks darker than the others, so perhaps. Okay, yeah, this is dark, but I feel like this may be a little too dark. Hmm, it kind of looks like it may blend out on camera. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna mix this top one and this one, these two. So I'm basically gonna mix Deep Neutral 2 and Deep Cool 2. And we're gonna see if that creates my perfect complexion. Okay, so now I'm just gonna grab my Full Spectrum Matte Ambition. Oh, shit. <sighs> Y'all, I was not expecting for it to squirt out like that. It looks like a lotion. Focusing on the areas that get the most oily, which is my T-zone. 
And now I'm just going to apply some Milk of Magnesia on top of that because, yeah, I just want to stay matte all day. I'm just going to apply that to my areas that get the most oily. Okay, so next I'm going to grab my Full Spectrum Contour and Correct Expert. And this is a cream palette. I'm just going to grab the orange shade in this palette and I'm going to color correct around my eyes and any areas that may be dark before I put on this foundation. Um, so it did a really good job at covering my dark circles. However, I would want a little bit more coverage. So you would have to layer it several times if you have like very deep set eyes like I do. You have to do a lot of layers because this product is kind of thin. Like I feel like this product moves around because I just applied it and it's already disappearing over my dark circles. So I'm not sure about the fallout of the eyeshadow, so I am going to apply the eyeshadow first and then I'm going to apply the foundation. And super excited to see them on my complexion because even on the packaging it says that they are so saturated and that they're very vibrant on darker complexions. So let's see. They're all really pretty and they all have very unique colors. I do feel like for a new makeup wearer, all four of these will be essential in your makeup collection because I feel like you can do so much with each individual eyeshadow palette and then you can mix them to get an even more unique eyeshadow look. Since my package did not come with an eyeshadow primer, I'm just going to grab Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. So I'm going to do a very simple eyeshadow look today. I just want to see if the colors are as vibrant and if they last on the lid all day as this is claiming to do. So I decided that I am going to go with this eyeshadow palette and I want to do a neutral eye with a little bit of shimmer. Um, it does come with this little wand but honey I'm not using this. So I'm just going to grab an angled brush and I'm going to cut out my crease with this dark shade here. Oh wow, look how this thing is showing up very pigmented. Whoa, I don't even have to do multiple layers of it. Like, that is very impressive. I have MAC eyeshadows on, that don't even show up this pigmented. I am super impressed so far. Super impressed. Wow. So now that I cut out the crease, I'm just going to fan that color upwards. I'm super impressed by this. It applies very smooth and it blends out very well. You did a really good job with the eyeshadow. Now I'm just going to grab a blending brush and I'm just going to, with no product on it, and I'm just going to fade that line a little bit up at the top. The next thing that I'm going to do is apply this warm golden color here to my lid and then I'm going to go back over this line with the same color just to intensify it a little bit because I am doing like a soft cut crease. This on my complexion is more of like a neutral shade or color but it's very pretty. Please excuse all of this white. This is the extra or the excess from that Milk of Magnesia. I'm gonna leave it like that and just apply the foundation on top. 
um, that's what I have been using lately because it literally zaps all of the oil out of my skin and I don't have to worry about being oily or shiny for the entire day um, so just overlook that it's not snot it ain't nothing else so we're just going to go in with that same eyeshadow palette and we're going to use this gold shimmer color And this is also very pigmented as well. Okay. This is a very beautiful color. But this shimmer color does have a lot of fallout, so I am glad that I didn't do the foundation first. And directly in the center, I am going <laughs> to. And directly in the center, I am going to grab this lighter goldish color and I am going to just apply that here. Just so that when the light. Okay, so now that I am done that, I am going to grab some lashes. I am taking these lashes from my lash line, which is Lash Bands, available on thebeigecollection.com and they're in the style bankroll. I'm just going to apply some duo gel to my lashes and apply them. So after I put these lashes on, I'm just going to move on to the foundation. Okay, so while my lash glue is drying, I'm just going to grab those two foundations that I chose. I am going to mix them together. So this is basically just two pumps of the Deep Neutral 2 and one pump of the Deep Cool 2. This is a very lightweight foundation. Um, I'm still able to see all of my imperfections through the first layer. I'm gonna basically do a couple of more layers and see if it can be buildable um, if I get more of a full coverage from doing that. It's hard to say if this is gonna be my perfect complexion or if the undertone matches me. I'm not gonna be able to tell until after. I would say that it's kind of buildable because I am pressing more foundation into the areas that I need fuller coverage and now it is covering but I don't know if it will last all day we are going to see medium tan golden so just applying this it is very very sheer Like you can see all of my um, all of my pores through it. You can see my skin showing through it. So this is a very, 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 very lightweight concealer. I wouldn't even call it a concealer because it isn't really going to conceal anything. So if you're going more for a natural look or if you already have perfect skin, I would definitely recommend the foundation and the concealer for you. But for someone who wants very, very, very full coverage, you would have to layer and layer and layer and layer and layer and layer, and layer several layers to get it to even show up. Like right now, I even have to add more. All right, so now that I applied that, I am gonna grab this black eyeliner and I am just going to line my waterline. So while this powder is baking, I'm just going to grab this full spectrum contour and correct palette and I am going to contour my nose. Ooh, this may be a little too dark y'all, but <laughs> this is the darkest shade in the contour palette. I'm just going to have to keep blending this out. It's a little too dark. Do I want to try something dark? Maybe I want to try a dark lip. But first, I do want to see how this pink looks because I, I saw it in the packaging and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try this pink color. So we're going to try this pink on first just to see how it looks. 
and then we're going to apply the dark so the pink is in the shade believe me and this deep red color or like maroonish color is in the shade fortune which is so cute for that color mm. <laughs> Ooh, this looks like the type of shade that you need to have some type of lip liner on with this is actually i feel like this is a topper like a lip topper for a lipstick you already have on but this is that pink shade <laughs> since i do not already have a lip color on i am going to pass on that one i'm going to grab this lip pencil you just outline my lips when it comes to my cupid's bow i like to do a triangle there or draw above my cupid's bow that totally changes the shape of my lips i just love how it looks so i do like a heavy emphasis over my cupid's bow so it goes up and then down like a triangle So far, it's not really opaque. You, not that much product comes out at a time, so you have to definitely layer it. I actually really, really like the eyeshadows and I really, really like the lipstick. Um, however, the foundation isn't really doing it for me at all like i'm looking at my 10 times magnifying mirror and i am literally seeing all of my imperfections just show they're standing out i don't really feel like it's a good color match for me specifically but my my shade is hard to find in a lot of even higher brand makeup companies so i'm not really surprised if they don't have my exact shade but um I'm gonna choose this bright yellow color because this is kind of like a neon-ish color on my shirt and I want it to pop or stand out. One, this palette is Rose Rush. So with Rose Rush, I'm gonna go in with the middle color which is a golden color and I'm gonna highlight with that. And with this one, this palette is called the Bronze Flame, which is really cute. Um, I like both of those names. I'm going to go in with the last color, which is a mocha shade, and I am going to use that as a blush. Ooh. <laughs> this blush is extremely pigmented, y'all. I was not expecting that. So you, the less you use, I feel like the more natural it will look. I wish, out of everything that I've tried so far, I feel like there are very pigmented products, yes, but I would want the foundation and the concealer to be just as pigmented as the lipstick, as the eyeshadow, as this blush that I just applied. Of my brow bone, here, and here. And now this look is complete. I'm just going to spray it with my Fix Plus, not Fix Plus. <laughs> I'm going to spray it with my Primer Water by Smashbox. And then I'll show you guys the final look. Yeah, that's right. It's beige, oh, right.